perfect. Just continue your speech. Uh, br uh, Brother Yuma Mabanga, as you have this this science lab and you're explaining uh, to our, our participants here, talk to us. What are you explaining right now? Well, so what I was sharing with my sister and my young brother here is uh, the purpose of uh, science in 3AA. Mm -hmm. So when I teach science, it is like the pastor said today, that uh, we have to help the young people to find the, the purpose for which God created them. So I use science to teach about health, so that our young people can appreciate uh, the health message, and then also use uh, science principles to teach about salvation. So right here, I was sharing with my sister that uh, in chemistry we learned about acids. So here we have uh, hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. Hydrochloric acid is very corrosive. It can burn. Mm. And that's what sin does. Sin can burn your life. However, uh, there is an antidote. Mm. And that is uh, the blood of Jesus. Grace. And that's what the sodium hydroxide is. Mm. And if you don't mind, can I quickly demonstrate? Yes, go ahead. It's good. He's going to demonstrate for us. He's, he's doing a literal science experiment to teach about the gospel. Cleanse this. Make sure it's clean. All right. So what I'm going to do here in the, the flask, I'm going to add the acid, the hydrochloric acid. So he's adding the hydrochloric acid, which as he said, it burns. It's like sin. Sin will cause you to burn ultimately. But yet, he's going to show us the solution. Yes, so I have to wear a glove. He's got to wear gloves. Well, you don't want that sin on you, brother. You got to stay clean. <laughs> All right, so this here is the vessel. This is like my body filled with sin. Mm -hmm. Now, when, uh, when the reaction between the acid and the sodium hydroxide is taking place, we can't tell when the, the reaction is over. We can't tell the end point. So we need uh, to add something. This is the Holy Spirit. I'm going to ask my young friend, can you please add a few drops of the Holy Spirit? Okay, that's good. That's good. Thank you. All right. So that here there is an indicator and it helps us to visually tell when the reaction is over. Just like uh, the fruit of the Spirit uh, is the sign that, you know, sin has been er eradicated. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to add grace. So right here I have, uh, this is sodium hydroxide. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. He's added some grace, y'all. How many of you need some grace? So you see, again, nothing visibly uh, different is happening here. We can't tell that the reaction is over, so you continue adding grace. Okay, add a little bit more. Wow. Now, if you can observe carefully, you begin to see flashes of uh, pink color. Yes. So this is... Uh, the Holy Spirit is working. You start to see the fruit of the Spirit slowly. But we're not perfect yet. So we add more grace. How much more grace do we need? Until all the sins have been washed away. So continue adding. And you got to be patient as a scientist. Mm. And that's a big key. That's it, that's it. Patience. James chapter 4. Verse 6 says, but he giveth more grace. Oh, you see, the color is changing almost. Again. And guess what? We might need to refill the burette. And you know, this is very practical. Sometimes in life you struggle with certain sins for many years. Yes. But uh, do not give up. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit of, uh, I'm going to use this to transfer to make sure I don't spill. 
friends it's like the process of salvation you know many times it's well it is a process you know justification when we ask christ for forgiveness we receive it by faith immediately but sanctification is the process of a lifetime and so this is what's going on here god is working on us calling us leading us to repentance leading us to himself and the the more the quicker that we surrender to him the faster this work can be done in our lives but remember it's a daily work because christ says even Paul says in, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 31, I die daily. All right, praise the Lord. It's grace never runs out. Whoops. There you go. All right, so we're nearing the end point. <laughs> Y'all keep getting that grace, it will disappear. <laughs> Wow. There you go. The color is changed. So the moment the color changes pink, then the reaction is over. That means that all the hydrochloric acid has been washed away. And you know the beautiful thing is that when these two, when the acid and the base react, they form a very beautiful product. You know what that product is? Would you care to guess? I don't want to be too wrong. Uh, let me say... One of it came out of the side of Jesus when he... Oh, H2O, water. Water, yeah. That was, that was my first guess, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be too off. And the last one is uh, salt. Mm. So you can see here that when our sins have been washed away, we turn into salt. We become the salt of the world. Amen. And uh, the, the water, which is the... What does water represent, Jared? Water is a, represent, it's a representation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, He abides in us. Like we learned that when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon Him. And did it live? It remained. It remained. So the water remains in there. We become the sword of this world and the Holy Spirit remains in us. Right. So here we have science teaching us about salvation. Amen. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful demonstration.